Well, hello YouTube, Captain Dave Sport Fishing, YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. And I am going to share something with you that I found to be very helpful on my boat. I just got done taking a uh, family from Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri, out with their two kids. And we went to the inlet and caught some whiting and stuff like that. It was only two hours, so you can't do much. I'm out here in the St. John's River right now. I hope the wind isn't too bad. And I'm going to share something with you that I found really handy. I've got this. I call it the buffalo bag. It is another one of those soft coolers. Now, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you know that I am always hunting perfection on my boat when it comes to storage, coolers, all kinds of stuff. I'm just like a container junkie. Things to put in things. So I have this on my Amazon affiliates tools of the trade page. It's called Buffalo Gear. This is the smallest one they make. And it is an insulated bag that is really super nice. And I'll show you what I use it for. You may have seen a little bit of it in the very beginning of this video. But what I do is I bag up big jumbo shrimp so I could use them out with like these kids and these kids trips and here's what I do I use these silicone bags which are also on my Amazon tools of the trade page and what I do is I keep big shrimp in here just for cut baits the kids for whiting croakers stuff like that there's many times many times when dead shrimp in the st. John's River just gets bit a lot faster than even live shrimp because it has a better smell in our brown water down 40 feet on the bottom so I buy my shrimp from actually the seafood market and I get big large shrimp or jumbos and many times I'll take their heads off put them in a Maxwell House container or Folgers container or something like that and then I've got that for like sheep said chum for some customers that I know you know would be able to catch the sheep said and all that good stuff as you can see there's one of the shrimp right there with the head off I buy head on and then I take the heads off and I keep them in that container and it turns into be great chum that's a byproduct because the heads on these shrimp are going to come off anyhow and most of the time I'm cutting these shrimp into small pieces so I've already got these all my bait in these silicone bags that I lay flat in my freezer so the shrimp aren't all just all tangled together so I use these and I even had some frozen finger mullet here I brought along today just in case and what happens is is that these bags fit so perfectly into this small 18 by 20 I believe it is or 18 by 18 bag they even give you a drain like you really need if you're going to use this for fish that's fine I mean small fish will fit in there I could use this put speckled sea trout in here or something or croakers or something but what happens is, is I, I put ice in here and then these bags go in here very nicely and I'm telling you the way I have it set up is I'm in constant search of all the time for stuff to not fall out 
and so far since I've been using this bag, now granted it's been basically since October is where I got these bags. They were like $36 or something. I believe I bought two or three of them. And I'll show you here in a second, but these store so good. You can line them up. They, I mean, look at this, the footprint of this bag is, is really small. And I pack them full of ice, put my frozen bait in those silicone bags, and then I store them now instead of coolers. Now I'm, you know, I've got all kinds of size of coolers, but instead of coolers that are real heavy, these are lighter, <laughs> more compact, and very durable. I mean, they're just uh, that welded seams. They got this side zipper, the handles, and they got this nylon, tough nylon sewn into the edges. And I'll show you what I do with them. I take these fill them full of ice, put the bait in, as you saw, and then I store them underneath my leaning post. So then, guess what? They're actually getting two, they're getting shade from my top, and they're getting some shade from my leaning post. So let me show you that. Well, there's, there's my leaning post. And I got my rubber bucket underneath there. And I just store them up under here like that. And I can put in two or three of them and just lay them in there. And they're out of the way. They don't weigh anything except for the ice and the bait. And they just sit down in there so nicely. as you can see so i'm very pleased with these and that's the reason why i stuck these on my amazon tools of the trade page my tools of the trade page is what i refer to as tools of the fishing trade This Buffalo brand makes all kinds of fish bags. <coughs> I had two regular long fish bags that I used to use and they got beat up pretty bad. She I'd stick sheep's head in them and everything. I thought I was, you know, dispatching the sheep's head. Ah, oh, and then damn things punctured the bags and all. So these are just for my bait. I can imagine in the depths of summer, I could fill these full of all kinds of ladyfish, and croakers, and all that kind of stuff. Frozen baits for my shark fishing that I do during the summer months. And pack these and put them behind, put them underneath the leaning post. And, you know, use them or not use them. I have never come back yet where all the ice is thawed and all my beta song. So, there's a link below in the video description where it says show more below this video. And I'll put a link in the first pinned comment, okay, of a direct link to my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Take a look at these if you're interested in something like this. I found these to be I found these to be so good, I bought one and then I went back and bought like two more. Just so I have $36 or something, Prime shipping if you're a Prime member. So, I wanted something small. That's the thing. You know, they make giant fish bags, but I didn't want a fish bag. I wanted a bait bag. I was just in my bait shop uh, and I looked up and they had some bait bags, literally bait bags made for bait, for ribbon fish and things for king mackerel fishermen and stuff like that. 
and even the bait bags that were not like an Amazon product, kind of a locally built or something bag, they were almost twice the size of this. They were square just like this, but they were so much bigger. These, I could put two or three. I go like this, move the ice around. I could put two, three of them stacked up under my leaning post. So I just found them easy to use and very durable. So I just thought I'd pass that on. So I don't do, I, I really kind of screw up a lot. I could, I've got so many things on my Amazon, um, affiliates page that really helps out this channel you don't understand that every little bit helps especially in this economy right now as a matter of fact i thought i was doing a six hour trip today so i came loaded for bear because i thought that's what the guy said he said my kids can do the duration well, it turns out it was going to be a little two-hour trip. I thought I was going to be out here all day. I went ahead and bought live shrimp. I brought all the shrimp. I brought the mullet for chunking for the bull reds. We did throw out a couple, you know, chunked mullet at the inlet. We didn't get no takers. The whiting were eating them right up. So, um, so now I'm out here with a lot, bunch of live shrimp, and I guess I'm going to pitch around and see if I can catch something. So, bonus footage if I end up catching something. So I'm not gonna be out here for long. I've got a lot of other, other things I could do, but I really like these bags. They're, they're just so durable. This Buffalo brand is, is, they make some pretty good quality stuff I can see. So I'm gonna pitch a jig around. Believe it or not, look at this. I even brought spinning tackle because I didn't know if these people were real fishermen fishermen or not. They weren't. Stereotypically, I'm taking a family out with some kids. They're not big fishermen. So I even brought the spinners. I didn't bring a rod for myself. So now I am forced to fish with a spinner. Burn up some of these live shrimp and see if I can catch some. So go figure. Uh, I didn't know it was a two-hour kid's trip or I wouldn't have bought damn shrimp. So, that's it. Check out the links below. I really appreciate the pat patronage on my Tools of the Trade page. It helps out so much. Because then I can get things like this to pass on to you. And there's so many products on my Tools of the Trade page that I haven't even really done reviews of. So... I need to get on the ball. So, well, thanks for watching. Maybe we'll have some actual catching. I don't know. Probably, maybe in this area, there might be some yellowmouth trout or something. I don't know. We'll see. So, I'll see you on the next one. God, I feel like Handy Boy with this damn spinner. Sand trout. That's all these are. Little sand trout. Eh, go make a fish fry. That's two and I've been here for two minutes. stink in Dave's house. <laughs> I wish these were speckled trout. Alrighty, time to go home. Got myself a little dinner with these dudes. Nothing fantastic. Just burning up some shrimp. Time to make the donuts. Time to go home.